Oh, my gosh. All right, next one we got Tiago Silva and Brandon Vera. Your boy, yeah. my boy, and your boy both took uh, took hits uh, uh, this past New Year's. But this was a tough one for me because they're both my boy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm a Tiago big, Silva. I've always liked Tiago Silva. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tiago Silva, and he, and he looked like the Tiago Silva of old with the exception of not being able to knock out Vera. Vera, tough guy. Hung in there, but lost unanimous decision, 30-26, 30-27, 30-27. And Silva, Tiago Silva looked like the Silva going into that Leota Machida fight. Looked that dominant, looked that strong. He looked, I, I mean, he looked so much bigger and stronger. Definitely yeah. stronger than Vera. What did you think of this? A couple problems I have as far as with, with Vera. I mean, honestly, begin? yeah, you know, and, and I've, I've talked to a few people about it. Uh, my concern is he just doesn't seem to have the strength. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, of course, he's... You know, he's too small for heavyweight. He goes down to light heavyweight, but he, he gets pushed around by these guys. Isn't it funny? It's like it's like a, a, a middle linebacker at a uh, um, like a Mountain West school. He's like, yeah. you know, he's maybe he's 5'10", and he's, he's 220 pounds, so he's like a little little fire hydrant kind of guy. Yeah. So he's big, and he's he's muscling guys around, dude, does great at that level. Goes up to the pros, there's really no place for that guy. You can't put him in middle yeah. linebacker. He's really too small to, you know, and stocky to be like a safety. He's not quick enough to be a cornerback. He doesn't have a place in the NFL. Brandon Vera He seems... just taxed everyone in that conference. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, dude, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, but but Brandon Vera is like that middle linebacker at uh, you know at Utah uh, yeah. or something you know where he he's there's no place for him yeah. he's too small at a heavyweight and he he seems to to not be strong enough yeah but how does he how does he become too small as a light heavyweight I mean it's, it's, yeah. it's not I mean because he's a tall guy lanky a wiry guy, guy but he just doesn't I mean. And then you look at Tiago Silva. I mean, the guy, he looks like a video game character. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. huge. What I was so impressed here was his ground game. We hadn't seen that up until now. Oh, I mean, we, man, yeah. he was he was content. And, you know, people say, oh, hey, he was losing the stand-up. But, again, why fight? I mean, which it was surprising. I was surprised. And when Brandon Vera did look good standing, but he had nothing for him on the ground. Mm-hmm. And you're thinking, you know, Brandon's got long arms, long legs. He, you know, we know he's got a good jiu-jitsu background. He couldn't do anything no. other than accept those punches. I mean, the broken nose was significant. Oh. You know, there. I mean, people were, were kind of getting on Tiago saying, oh, he was uh, slapping him with the open hand, being disrespectful. No, that's, a, that's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu yeah. tactic. There's nothing disrespectful about and that. And at no point. I, mean, I don't think he's not that way, though. I mean, you know, that he, I mean, he's a scary dude. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, as far as, I don't think he, at any point he thinks of punking guy. He's thinking of winning. Obviously, there was some nosing to no, nose-to-nose stuff in between, uh, Rounds and stuff like that, but that's this the adrenaline. That's just the intensity. Yeah, but that was just a good. But that was that was like I owned you that first round. Yeah. I took him down, and it was every time. But it was like Brandon had nothing for him. He couldn't stop the takedown, yeah. and not even real good takedowns. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And, and Brandon, but my concern for him is just the strength. I felt that even when he fought Szczynski, he had a good game plan. He was able to you know use the leg kicks and get away from a slower moving guy. But you start fighting. I mean, look at what happened with the John Jones. You can talk and talk and talk, you know, as far as Brandon Vera, and I think he's kind of resting on his past laurels, you know, of when he was the guy who we thought was going to have the belt in heavyweight and light heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. But he's not that guy anymore. Something's happened, whether everyone else is caught up or his... He has not at all. Yeah, his ability has gone down. He's got all kinds of excuses, and he keeps saying, this is the new Brandon Vera you're going to see. This wasn't a bad Brandon Vera, but it's just not good enough. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you compare him to Tiago Silva, it was... It was and a just... big fight for Tiago. I think he was kind of both of them. This was one of those, not say cut, what is it, uh, fish or cut bait or whatever. I mean, this is a big fight to see who's moving up. And now, I mean, I like the fact that John Jones is talking crap to Tiago uh, Silva. Mm-hmm. You know, that would be Talk a really about good a fight. a great fight. Because, I mean, I think Silva, he had that bump in the road, but I think now mentally he knows not to uh, take for granted the success that he, he yeah. got going up into that Leota Machida. And he's fight. claiming his back is now 100%. You know, he so. looks like a beast. Yeah. And now Tiago Silva is the Tiago Silva that we remember going into that Machida yeah. fight. And I think the, the light heavyweight division is stacked with some amazing talent at that top end, that top five guys and stuff. Yeah. is looking really outstanding. Brandon Vera, where does he go from here? I mean, I don't know. He, he looks like he's going to be just one of those guys, you know, in the mix. Uh, you know, he'll beat the average guys. He might occasionally beat a good guy, but he'll never beat great fighters. Yeah, maybe he'll beat a good guy on his way down. I mean, I don't. I just don't see him unless he wins by decision. He and I'm being honest. And again, I we like him. We met him, and he's been very good to the light yeah. show. But the honest thing is, he just doesn't seem to have the power. He doesn't have the knockout power, and he sure doesn't have the submissions as right. of late. Yeah. I mean, remember, this is the same guy who 
beat the crap out of Frank Mir yeah. at heavyweight. I know. And I know that was a different Frank Mir. But still, I mean, I get you. You put those two guys together now, it's not going to be the same yeah. result. Yeah. So I don't know what it is, you know, but I know he was pretty embarrassed about that broken nose, and that was that was a pretty bad uh, bad break. But, yeah. uh, you know, but... But trying to hide it like that makes it... Yeah, you got to just it. own it, dude. dude. Just it. Rich it Franklin, and he's like, yes, that's, that's me. me. <laughs> I can smell my cheek. <laughs> yes.